We came so far from dreams. The path was hard for me. They thought we fall, you see. Well, look at us now, look at us now. We make it high, but we on the scene. Yeah, that's a thousand degrees. I got a grind for me and my team. Yeah, you know we gon' win. We see the clouds when we come around. You know that I roll with some kids. We sit it down, I don't hear a sound, but I ain't. Tell me who better than we We saw in the places you never could reach When we walk in that spot, don't hear none of you speak Shh, do you want peace or the peace? A king about to put you to sleep Listen, my team is elite You not even qualified to compete He's starving, he barely can eat I guess that's why he always itching for beef So I put him on ice and I told him to chill Close your mouth if you can't pay for the meal Making statements that you know you don't mean Nice guy trying to act like he mean Keep it a buck, keep it a bean Attitudes will put you dudes in a beam Isakai, he don't live in reality Shake back off a cup of fatality Law yeah, how you gon' hate when you mirror us? He think he a star, he ain't serious. X him out, we not on the same frequency. If you broke, you ain't hearing us. Work the screw, anime, that's how I feel, period. We winning, that's making them furious. We make it high when we on the scene, yeah, that's a thousand degrees. I got a grind for me and my team, yeah, you know we gon' win. We see the clowns when we come around, you know that I roll with some kids. We sit it down, I don't hear a sound, but I ain't Yo, what do you do guys? It is your boy, Leon Mookie here, back with you with a new series for you guys. And this one is to replace that of, well, what if Deku had that of a Legion from Astro Chain? So, given that, I haven't really seen any, well, per progress with that what if series, to be honest, in a while. So I basically decided to just get rid of it entirely and replace it with something new. Now, to be honest, if you guys remember, I put up a poll about that of several weeks back asking on, I wanted to try something a little bit different for my series. Focus on Izuku having more than just a dream on becoming a hero, but, one, but branching out into things more, such as the entertainment industry. The what if choices range from that of what if Izuku had mirages and what if Izuku could summon espers? Mirages from that of Tokyo Mirage Sessions, FE. Basically, the Shimigami Tensei slash Fire Emblem spinoff game that kind of was a hit and miss, depending on who you ask. And, and, and espers from Dislight, which is a pretty good, pretty good mobile game series. Downside on getting espers is always a pain in the ass, though. I won't lie. The character designs are pretty good. But the what if that one was what if Deku had mirages. So, and that will be the, our what if for today. This is what if Deku had mirages from Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I won't be, I won't lie to you guys. I kind of thought that Dislike was going to win to be, to be fair, given on how popular the mobile game is and even its soundtracks and, and music. But I guess... Tokyo Mirage Sessions did leave more of an impact on people than people thought, given that it's a pretty decent game gameplay-wise after all. So I decided to hit, put my own hand in the box after all for a series like this. Letting you guys now know this now, I'm not going to add a lot of Tokyo Mirage Sessions characters in this what if. Possibly only three or four characters will make an appearance in this series. The ones that are mainly the stars of this what if is Izuku and the Mirages. However, I'm only giving Izuku at least that of Mirages I know that he would have a good relationship with. I'll also probably be adding my own my own OC Mirages from other Fire Emblem games into, into this as well, besides just the ones that are already in the game. However, unfortunately, I won't be adding anything from that any characters from Th from Fates, Three Houses, Engage, only char only well Mirage Fire Emblem characters from that of Awakening and Shadow Dragon. Given that Mirage sessions focus mainly on those two on characters from those games alone, so yeah, apologies, but not too sorry to begin with as well. At any rate, with all that said, let's get into this, shall we, guys? In our world lies an alternate dimension. A world where everybody's dreams can become a reality. It's also the home where everybody can achieve their dreams as well. A powerful energy source inside of everybody called Performa. With this energy, 
everybody can achieve their dreams if they have if they have enough to work for it, to try to achieve it, to try to reach for it, no matter what, and no matter who stands in their way. Surprisingly, the power of the performer would rise even more within humanity, given that a certain change happens in this world. In currently. 80% of the human population would gain a unique ability and unique power. This power will be known as quirks, where the abnormal becomes normal. And, every, and people who use their quirks would, begin, would have that of two categories. The first one are those who use their quirks to hurt others, decided to that of destro to destroy order and use them for, and use their powers for their own selfish means. These are known as villains. While on the other side are those who use their quirks to help those in need to protect them, save their lives, keep them safe from the, from the world, and how unfair it becomes to overcome these adversities by using their abilities for the greater good. These people will be known as heroes. And from the birth of the heroes, a new profession was born and created. They would be known as pro-heroes. All across the world, superheroes are the greatest of them all. Even though America is where the birth of pro-heroes was created, it was in Japan where the, where the pro-hero boom was at, or at its highest. Mainly because of one pro-hero, one that embodies both Japan and America. This hero is known as... All Might, as he inspired multiple generations from his heroism and power alone and with his quirk and his charisma too. He inspired so many people to want to rise up and become heroes themselves. Even our hero, even, even though soon to be world's greatest hero himself, this boy would be known as Izuku Midoriya. As Izuku has admired, looked up, and, ins and was always inspired by All Might. Ever since seeing his debut in Japan all those years ago, he couldn't help but admire the man. Admire on how far and how willing he's going to protect those in need. As that smile was the one thing always keeping those in from fearing the concept of death. As he would be the one always smiling always there if you ever need a hero in need. Izuku always dreamt of wanting to be a hero. However, that all changed on one certain day. At the age of five years old, he his him and his mother go to that of the quirk doctor to see it, why, he had, why Izuku hasn't awakened his quirk yet. As the doctor saying, tell me young man, what kind of, what kind of profession do you want to be? Within Izuku, basically shouting out loud saying to be a hero within the doctor saying sorry not gonna happen kid within hearing that izuku completely felt like he was just slapped in the face even though he wasn't but it, but the words alone felt like he was with inko asking what do you mean doctor with then soon he's saying huh oh, ma'am tell me in your family what is your quirk and your and your husband's quirk with Inko explaining that her quirk allows her to levitate that of small objects, while her husband's quirk, Hasashi, allows him to breathe fire. With the doctor saying, so that makes the two of you that of third generation quirk users. Understandable. However, even so, there is always cracks in that of the, that of the DNA and the evolution chain. For example, you see here, this is an x-ray of your son's foot. You see right here on the pinky, your son right here has that of two joints. It's said in that of recent and current studies that those with that of two jointed pinkies will be destined to be quirkless, no matter what. He could, well, there are, there have been some studies of double, double jointed, well, quirk users. They're normally considered late bloomers. After hearing this, both Izuku and Inko couldn't help but think that maybe Izuku would be getting his quirk later on, with then soon the doctor basically slammed that idea out of the water, with then saying, but doubtful that will ever happen, actually. 
It's it, normally the joints are always either into their big toe or always in their middle toe after all. When it comes to those with pinky, double joints in their pinkies, they're always quirkless, no matter what. With that, it felt, well, instead of a slap to that of Izuku's face, it now felt like a full-on punch to the gut now. Seeing on how blunt this doctor is, Inko couldn't help but be completely and utterly pissed at that of the lack of, well, care or lack of tact that, her, that this doctor is doing to that of her son. Within, the doctor, not even caring about that of Inko's feelings or Izuku, still continues saying, but even so, it can't be helped. If the young man truly wanted to be a hero, well, that's kind of out of the way now. No way impossible that a dream like that of a quirkless hero ever being possible. With, after that, Izuku's life began to completely and utterly shift as the one thing he always wanted, the one thing he always wanted to be, being that of a hero, is now completely off the table. With then soon back at home, as Izuku felt like he was completely and utterly shut down, as he was hoping that maybe, just maybe, that he would at least be possible. Maybe his mom could tell him that it's possible. The doctor may say otherwise, but maybe she will. With as about as Inko was about to place. Play, play that of the All Might debut video like always, hoping to cheer up Izuku. However, instead of playing the video, she plays something else instead on accident. As clicking on the video, within Izuku saying, this is an All Might. Within noticing the video, realizing, oh right, I guess I did click on the wrong one. Before then realizing what the video is. As the video shows that of a woman wearing that of a bright blue dress that shows off quite a bit of her curves actually, as she having that of a long, long black, long black hair wrapped in that of a ponytail, as it looks like as she's on that of a stage, singing and dancing towards everybody. Within seeing this, Izuku is completely confused, saying, "What video is this? This is an All Might." With then saying, "Sorry, sweetie, I didn't. I must have clicked on the wrong one. Just." Hang on, give me a moment. As Inko was about to put on the video again, before Izuku continues seeing that of the current video going on, as the woman continued to dance, sing, as the crowd continues going wild for her, with Izuku's eyes no longer feeling like they're watering anymore. And however, even though they still are, and, their, and his eyes are puffy and red, he couldn't help but be mesmerized, completely and utterly, well, dazzled at the woman and her movements. But also, what's really standing out for him the most is the crowd, the people entirely, basically cheering her on, smiling, giving her encouragement to, all, to keep on moving and to keep on singing as well. Within, Izuk saying, what's this, mom? Within... As Inko was about to fully type in the, was about to get back to All Might's video. Within, she's saying, actually, it's a concert, sweetie. It's within, realizing this, that of the, uh, that of the singer's voice. And even her look saying, oh, that's Maiko. Within, saying, Maiko? Saying, oh, you haven't met her. I think, well, actually you have, but it was when you were really young, really, really, really young, Izuku. Just like your aunt Mitsu, your aunt Mitsuki, she she's an old friend from back in high school, actually. Where Misaki and I basically went to that of college. She found she was actually founded by that of a talent agency and became that of a full on, well, pop star, a model too. She used to be that of an underground model back in high school, but I guess she finally got her big start after all. After finally graduating, uh, I didn't. I've kept in contact with her from time to time, and I did see at least one of her concerts back in the day, one or two of her concerts, but nowadays, I haven't really heard from her that much. Wait, hang on, I think I still have her number. Within, soon, Izuk saying, she, everybody's cheering her on, mommy. Within, Inko saying, huh? Within, saying, they're cheering for her, happy, they're great, they're... 
it's, it's, they're really excited. It's almost like how All Might saves people with, then soon, Inko hearing her son saying, Izuku, tell me, is this, if, instead of being a hero, do you want to be a singer or a performer? But then Izuku saying, can I? I mean, if, if I, I don't have a quirk, so. But then Inko saying, oh, honey, you don't need a quirk to be a performer or, or, to, or to sing or anything like that. All you need is pure talent and hard work to do it. But then hearing this, Izuku couldn't help but feel excited, happy, and can't wait to actually show what he's capable of. If the world won't allow him to be a hero, then he'll be a then he'll be that of a pop star, maybe a musician, actor, possibly even more than that. All he wants is just to see those see people smile, give them hope in one way or another. Hopefully in this as this he can do that. And little did Izuku or even Inko or even the world know that some that Within Izuku, a power awakened, a power that would basically surpass anybody within both the pro hero circuit or the entertainment industry, would gain the biggest star, not in just Japan, but in the world. As the years go by, Izuku began to, well, develop, trying to understand more and more about being a music artist, even learned that... Some music artists even become that of actors or models and even many, many other things as well. He still had a fondness for heroes and he still admired them too. Even though he want, even though he knows that it's impossible to be a hero without a quirk, he still wants to at least study them and understand them too. No matter what, he's always a hero fanboy. However, his social life has t took one hell of a dip though. As since Izuku was quirkless, everybody basically treated him differently and basically looked down upon him from that of, well, from that of his fellow students and classmates to the teachers around him, all began to treat him differently, treat him like he had, like he was the plague or anything like that. Even his childhood best friend growing up, Katsuki Bakugo, also basically looked down on him and treated him like shit too. And it all had to do with that of that one incident, that one time when Izuku wanted to help out Iz Bakugo when he fell off a log into that of a small creek. Where Izuku just wanted to help out a friend, Bakugo saw it as basically him being pitied. And because of this, he continued to basically look down and, bu and bully Izuku on a daily, back as kids after all. But even so, Izuku didn't let that basically stop him or basically hit setbacks in his life. All he ever wanted was just to make those smile and to help those smile as well. While working as a performer, it's, Izuku began to work on that of his singing voice, dancing, and even, lear and even learning more and more on how to read and write as well, given that actors always need to, well, read scripts after all while also having that of more of a personality too. Because of this, his grades began to, well, improve a lot more as well. Teachers couldn't believe this, but they couldn't sabotage Izuku's, well, school record. Well, test answers and exams, but they still could sabotage that of his school record though. But even with these, well, setbacks and that of his education, he still continued to try to achieve and strive for his dream on being a star, not for his benefit, but for others. And seeing on how hard Izuku is working, Inko decided to meet up with that of an old friend, as she as she has been for at least the past couple of years so. With them meeting at that of a, well, small bar, lies that of Inko and a familiar woman as well, as this being Maiko Shimazawa, former pop idol and, well, model as well, and photography model as well. Now, currently, the head of her own talent agency called the Fortuna Talent Agency that basically scouts out young and upcoming talent 
for that of the music, TV, and movies alongside the modeling career as well. As Inko is currently drinking some water, Michael, on the other hand, has that of several shots of martinis after all. With then, soon, Inko couldn't help but say, Geez, you really threw do- throw those back quite a bit, Maiko. With then, finishing up her, se- her third gla- her fi- fifth glass, with then saying, ah, Well, this is what happens when you kind of lose, when you basically lose the main, your main job after all. Uh, ever since I got my, well, t- my talent, my talent agency, I thought I would have at least a lot more support. Unfortunately, I barely get any, to be honest. I only have that of one up-and-coming talent, after all. And she's, well, not really at her best right now. Not, a, not, not only that, not a lot of people is basically climbing for her, too. Even with my, well, former popularity, after all, it's not enough. Within hearing this, Inko saying, I see. But even so, I still want to give Izuku at least a shot. A chance. The very most I can do. And you're the only person I I know who would give him at least a shot. With then hearing this, Maiko couldn't help but sigh before smiling saying, ah, Surprising after all these years, this is what you asked for me when you called me. And yet, I thought it was just to, well, catch up on the old days. Heck, if, Mi- if Mitsuki was here, it would be like the old days. But you want me to help your son get into that the entertainment industry and le- and try and become a hero in his own in a different way instead of the usual pro hero way. But then saying, last time I check, didn't you also become a pro hero? Temporary pro hero, actually. I mainly just to, I went through all that hassle just so I can so I can get a quirk license and so I can use my quirk in public without getting flagged down by the law. Given my po- given my popularity back then, I did have to deal with a lot of creeps who tried to, well, attack me after all. With then saying, all the same, you have experience on what it's like to be a pro, even if you're not a- even if you weren't officially a pro. So, within soon, Michael saying, ah, I get I get it now. You want to help him become a hero in his own way instead of the usual. But you also still want to help him try to achieve being a pro hero, even though he's quirkless. I getcha. But I will tell you, it's not going to be easy or tough for him. Especially given my company's well policies, after all. Within, Inko saying, your policies? Saying, that's right. I only take in ta- talent at the age of that of 13. I don't take anyone younger. And if I recall, Izuku is currently... He's 12, actually. Just turned it about that a few month, a month back ago, actually. Saying, yeah, see? That's the reason why. I can't be his agent until he's 13 years old. I mean, sure, there are other talent agencies that take up kids like him pretty early on. But they're normally the sleazy kind or the ones that will always rat you out kind of agencies. And basically sign away everything important to you. You know I'm not that kind of girl. Inko. Saying... All the more reason I want you to take him in. If you had to wait, if he has to wait until 13 or next year, then so be it. Then saying, hold on, Inko. I said I would still take, I wouldn't take him in officially. I never said I wouldn't take him in unofficially. With then, soon blinking multiple times, with then saying, wait, what? Saying, as then, being quite loud, that the bartender saying, hey, lady. Saying, ooh, sorry. With then, even Maiko couldn't help but basically try to get the ringing out of her ears as she soon tilted her glasses again within saying, yeah, I said I can still teach him and, and the, well, work around that of the entertainment industry, but unofficially, he won't be getting paid or getting concerts or even going to or having that of jobs just yet. All he'll be doing is basically working as that of an assistant possibly close to that of an intern, actually. With Inko hearing this, she couldn't help but narrow her eyes at her friend before saying, so you're basically working him to the bone like that of child labor laws. Saying, hold on now, girl. It ain't nothing like that, to be honest. 
as long as you're around, it wouldn't be counted as, well, work laws, to be honest. As long as he has a guardian, which is you, his mother, then I could show him around and show him what he needs to do if once he gets into that the entertainment industry. And once he turns 13, I can officially contract him into my agents, into that of the Fortuna Talent Agency. So, how does that sound? He gets he gets the first-hand experience and what he needs to expect and out of the and out of the entertainment industry while slowly preparing himself to as well. So, how does that sound? With then hearing all this, as soon she Inko can help with size saying, "All right, deal." But like I said, any time that you that Izuku wants to figure things out or if you want to at, or if you want to show him some things. I have to tag along. No going behind my back, Maiko. Understand? With Finn saying, understand, Inko, understand. Jeez, motherhood has made you even more scarier than you normally are. With Finn saying, well, you would know if you actually decided to become a mother yourself. With Finn, she drinking another martini. With Finn saying, huh, what did you say? With Inko having that of a deadpan look saying, honestly, maybe, maybe not. With then soon, the two friends having that of a contract and an agreement between one another. The next the next couple of days, Izuku heads to that of the Fortuna Talent Agency, located in Tokyo in Tokyo, in the Shibuya district. With Izuku couldn't help but get excited. What, can't wait to actually start to wanting to be that of a star be that of a superstar. With then enter as getting out of that at the elevator with soon seeing that of a young girl, a young girl that looks like at least in that of high school, actually. Not only that, she's also wearing that of a UA uniform within Izuku saying, whoa, a UA uniform. Noticing too, the young girl with that of messy, with that of messy, somewhat dark Dark green hair, not on the same level as that of Izuku and Inko's green hair. Her green hair is more close to indigo, actually. With as she having that of a somewhat bored but and also annoyed look on her face, saying, "Huh? Oh, you two must be Miss Shimizu's guests, actually. They're supposed to come in today, right?" But then, In Inko saying, "Yes, that's me, and you are right, right. Let me introduce myself. The name is Kirika." Kiria Kirono, I'm the current talent of this agency right now, so um, you could say that I already have experience here, even though I barely do. With then soon, Inko saying, "Seriously, what was Mako? What was Maiko thinking? Bringing a girl like this? She looks like she doesn't care about anything." With then Kirika saying, "All right then, listen, I, we kind of have something important right now." Nishirazaki is currently me is currently out right now. So with then Sue Inko saying she's out, but this was the time that she told us that told me and Izuku to come. Why did she with then soon as soon as she says this, she Sue come through that of a door through that of the door on the other side of the agent of the agency. Maiko soon comes out with then saying. That should take care of that, and within, soon seeing that of Izuku and Inko, as they both basically blink, within, soon, Kirika can help but sigh, and that of annoyance, before it then say, oh, hey Inko, hey Izuku, so, I guess we're meet. I guess the meeting is, t I guess we have that meeting now, don't we? Within, Inko couldn't help but have her eyes closed, and her right eye basically twitching, saying, yeah, think. After one somewhat somewhat frantic apology later, soon they head to that of her small into that of her office desk room, show as it ha as behind her being that of large win a large window seal that shows the outside of all of Shib uh, Shibuya, and it's close to that of the Shibuya crossing as well. Within both Izuku and Inko taking seats as Kiri goes basically. Standing up, well, then Maiko begins to explain that her and Kiriko will be going to that of a talent game show today. This game show will basically show off the individual's special talent, actually. 
with if Kirigo can basically win this talent, win this game show, she would basically have a lot more cred and a lot more popularity as well. People will be wanting her a lot more. Within hearing this, Izuk saying, "So this is basically a talent show for singer for those in wanting to become that of music artist." Saying, "Yes and no, actually. Just like I said, any talent would do. Music, singing, dancing, acting, performing, anything like that. <laughs> Even weird stuff too. With then soon, Inko saying, "So what's this supposed to show Izuku?" Within. Maiko saying it's to show that there, if he wants to make it big, he needs to do small, small stuff like this first. Kiriko has basically done few, few concerts here and there, but mainly underground concerts like I used to. Where want, I want to basically help her branch out even bef beyond that of underground concerts. With then Kiriko saying, you, "I told you you didn't need to do that. I'm okay with just continuing doing underground stuff." Saying, and I told you, you're wasting your talents like that. Trust me, it took me forever to get scouted out because of that. But Kirika basically clo rolling her eyes at her agent's decisions, but decided to just go with it anyway. With then saying, so, it then soon, Izu Inko looking at Izuku saying, so, are you okay with this, sweetie? Saying, yeah, I want to see what other people were capable of and, and do to excel as well. Within hearing that, Michael saying, Well, you heard your son, Inko. Within saying, Huh, fine. After that, she's saying, Meet us at that of Tetsudan Stu Studios. Don't worry, I'll make sure to give you and Izuku a, pa a, pass a guest pass after all. I'll, you'll probably be part of the crowd and audience after all. So just don't do anything too crazy. With then, Sue, Izuku. And Inko couldn't help but smile at this, especially Izuku having that of a huge grin on his face. With Kiria basically looking at Izuku, and part of her couldn't help but actually smile at Izuku's huge, well, bright grin. But she didn't know the reason why, though. Several hours later, both Izuku and Inko arrive not at that of a TV station as they expected. They arrive at that of a convention center. As the TV, as the program couldn't use that of a, well, studio to basically film this. Given that, it's basically an open invite, well, t comp talent competition. They had to use that of a convention center area. Where you see that of tons of banners of pro heroes, mo super, uh, movie and TV stars. Alongside that of musicians and art and that of pop idols and J-pop J -pop stars as well. With Izuku, couldn't help but get excited seeing all both, seeing the pros and celebrities as well. With Inko and Izuku arriving on time, however, it shows that, well, Maiko didn't come for with that of their badges just yet. With the security basically turning them away multiple, a few times until Maiko basically finally showing up giving Inko and Izuku their guest badges with sorry, with t telling him sorry for how long it took. As Inko getting annoyed the reason on why she hasn't spent a lot of time with her friend, with Izuku starting to think maybe she's not trustworthy when it comes to getting things on time. With now, it's time for that uh, the talent, talent competition with Izuku and Inko in the crowd looking, getting excited for what's to come. As then, the announcer may saying, Welcome, one and all, to the Susan E. Talent Show! I am your host, Tamaya Nekuji, or, as I was once called by my pro hero name, Purple Highness. But, now retired, I I decided to take up that entertainer con entertainment role. That's why I am here to give out commentary and, sh and lighten things up during this talent competition. So, what, what further ado, let us begin! As the talent show goes on full swing, with many people showing off their talent using that of their quirks, or just, well, basic talents alone. 
Izuku couldn't help but be impressed with everybody's skills and abilities and how much they improved, even with those using their quirks for their talent, after all. He can't help but admire them even more, and only wish that he had that of his, well, hero notebook, after all. And yes, he still has that of the hero notebooks, to be honest. So that hasn't changed one bit. With then, soon, Kirika basically finally takes the stage. As then... Izuku wonders what she's going to do. Is she going to either dance, give out a play, or even use that of her quirk? Which, he wants to know what her quirk even is. Which is putting Izuku on the edge of his seat. With, then, soon, Kirika saying, I'll be singing, actually. It's an original song that I have done, that I have written myself. It is called, Reincarnation. Hearing the title of the song, get... He even gets Izuku wondering what the song is about as the lights go dim for a bit before then in a burst of bright lights over the stage Kirika begins to sing her song as she begins to sing the entire crowd begins to vibe with the song as well and couldn't help but be impressed by her singing even the judges and former Purple Highness himself couldn't help but admire the song, but even Inko too, saying that Maiko has truly found that of a shining star. As for Izuku on the other hand, he couldn't help but admire her singing, truly finding her singing beautiful, her voice angelic, her the way she sings, it's true, it's something else. To Izuku, he can't help but see that of Kiriko almost like that of an angel in human clothes. As she was about to finish up her song, soon something happens. As the entire area begins to go dark. And, and not because of the lights being dimmed or anything like that. Like it feels dark, malicious, con corrupting, consuming. As then everybody in the crowd begins to feel like they're going unconscious going to their grounds, with even some actually becoming unconscious as well. As bright lights begins to be consumed by that of the darkness itself. And behind that, so Kiriko being that of a large, bright door. Within, Kiriko seeing this door saying, <laughs> So it really did decide to show up. Ms. Shirazaki was right, right on the money at least. With then, the door begins to open up. As the lights from everybody begins to get sucked in, with even that of Inko herself getting consumed by that light, light was also being consumed. As seeing her begin to collapse on the ground, saying, Mom, 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 are you okay? What's going on? With then soon seeing that Izuku is the only one that hasn't been that hasn't collapsed, with Kiriko saying, Wait, Izuku hasn't collapsed yet? Why is he? But then she's shaking her head saying, now's not the time. I have to take care of this mirage and unless everybody's performa will be consumed. Ready, Tharja? Saying, as then, somewhat of a malicious voice couldn't help but giggle saying, as ready as I'll always be, Kirika. As Kirika basically walks through that of the gate, through that of the gate. But then Izuku Sina saying, uh, Miss Kirika! With then, soon. Wondering what's going on, as then realizing that it has to do with that gate. As he was soon about to bring out that of his phone, and about to call that of the police, or even that of a pro hero. Maiko basically takes Izuku's phone from his hands, but then saying, Sorry Izuku, can't have you calling the police or a pro hero to show up yet. They won't be able to do anything to stop this. But then Izuku saying, w What do you mean? What do you mean they won't be able to stop this? Why is everybody on the ground and within soon placing her finger in front of Izuku's lips, which basically turns his entire turns his, almost all of his cheeks entirely red. But then she ha trying to give that of a comforting smile to that of the 12 year old boy saying, Izuku, there are some things in this world that not even quirks understand. Some things in this world that are even beyond what we all what we already understand as well. Right now, Kiriko and I are the only ones that could stop this, but seeing that you're able to stand on your own and not being consumed by the mirage, meaning 
you might have, you have the potential as well with them saying potential saying, huh, as much as I want to personally, I'd rather not get you involved in this, to be honest, especially I don't want Inko to worry, but we're really short staff right now. And right and to be honest, I don't want to leave Kirika basically behind since I won't be able to help her out in this mission since I need to make sure to keep everybody in check after all. So I'm asking you, Izuku, you don't have to do this, but within saying, if it means helping everybody here, then I'll do it. Within, she's saying, wait, that quick? Saying, orig before I wanted to become that of a celebrity or a superstar or pop star or anything like that, I originally wanted to be a hero, a pro hero. I want to protect everybody. I want to save everybody with a smile on their on my face to reassure them just like All Might. That's what, but when I was diagnosed quirkless, I knew that was impossible. But when I saw your music, when I saw your concert video, you gave me the experience, the hope that maybe I can still keep that dream alive, even in a different way. But if there's another way to help those in need as well, then I'll take it. I'll do it. If it, so please, allow me this, Aunt Maiko, with then hearing that, hearing that title that was given to her, the veteran entertainer and honorary aunt couldn't help but begin to blush before then saying, all right, all right, you did say you wanted to do this, so I'm trusting you, please keep Kirika safe, Izuku. After saying that... Soon, Izuku heads downstairs to that of the stage, while Maiko basically keeps being around that of Inko, as placing her, trying to at least, well, keep her from that of falling off, from collapsing to the ground, and putting her into her, that of her seat. With then saying, hang in there, Inko. Both your baby boy is going to take care of this easily. Promise. With that... Soon, Izuku heads to the gate, within, soon begins to feel that of an ominous and somewhat twisted presence behind it, as he couldn't help but gulp, before then, trying to resolve himself, saying, a hero has to overcome things like this before as well. A hero gets in dangerous situations like this as well. So I, I, within, jumping right through that at a gate, at full already with then soon as he goes right through it he's soon noticing that the area looks quite well beautiful actually the layout of, of the area that almost looks like that of a state like that of a like the stage itself like all like completely offering itself to that of the per person to shine their brightest here with then soon izuku noticing that of certain creatures Basically wandering around with Izuku gulping in that of somewhat fear. But then soon hearing that of destruction in, in the in the area. As saying, that must be Kirika. I have to go. With then Izuku rushing through that of the lap. That of this area with wondering what, what even is this place. Or what it is at all. And wondering on how this doesn't involve, this place doesn't involve a quirk. I mean, there are some quirks that can basically change locations and areas, but those quirks only are limited to that of a person's imagination and mostly revolve around that of illusionary quirks. They can't really change the landscape itself unless a person's touching it or altering it, using that of certain emitter type quirks. But this, this feels like any, a quirk, a person with a quirk can do something like this unless it was so much more powerful. Maybe a quirk drug? As Izuku continues wondering wondering all of this, a voice saying, Your performa, your performa, you have a huge amount of performa. I want it. I want it. Give me your performa! As then it being that of a shadowy figure and that of a white and that of a red cloak. Within Izuku seeing this figure and freaks out. Before busting through that of a door, with then soon seeing seeing this as it being 
Kiri seeing Izuku is it being Kirika as she's wearing a whole different outfit than that of her UA uniform with as it looks like that of a skin tight well uniform that shows quite a bit of her curves as well with also her hairstyle basically made into that of twin tails and having that of an eye patch covering her right eye within saying wait Midoriya what are you Within soon blocking an attack with that of a staff that looks like that of a microphone stand with then soon noticing the mirage heading straight for that of Izuku saying, damn it, hang on Midoriya with then she tries to rush towards Izuku. However, another shadowy figure basically blocks Kirika's way saying, damn it, out of my way as she sends that of a ice an ice blast right towards that of the figure. However, for Izuku, this one, that the one with that of the sword continues to rush towards Izuku. Is Izuku wondering, am I, am I going to die here? I, I can't die. I wanted to be a hero. If I had a quirk, maybe I could, if, but I don't. I never had a quirk. I never, had anything besides my will, besides my dream, besides my determination. Within, as the as the figure was about to bring down his blade on Izuku, within Izuku saying, I still, even if I don't have a quirk, I still have a dream. I still have a wish. A wish to make everybody smile. That's my dream. If it means being a performer or a pro hero, I will make it happen! As he soon screams this out, within, a bright orb soon appears from that of Izuku's chest, as it soon consumed, as it soon even makes that of the shadowy figure completely scared and shocked. As it stum stumbles back, with Izuku seeing the saying, he's scared of this? Within, Kirika's scene is saying, wait, that's his performer core, and he has a huge amount at, at that. With then, soon, see, seeing that grabbing the core, as then seeing the shallow figure basically fe now fearing that of the core itself. As Izuku sees this and wonders, what if I, if I need, I want to defend myself and everybody else. I want to save mom. And Miss Karomu as well. So I, within, ru grabbing the orb and rushing tr right straight for that of the ghostly figure. As then slamming it into that of the figure's chest. Within, it roars and that of pain and anguish. Within, suit, Izuku saying, I'm sorry, I don't want to hurt you, but I need you to stop. With then... The anguish begins to die away as that of the red cloak also begins to fade away as well, leaving that of a figure and that of a bl and that of a dark red trench coat that looks close to that of a straight jacket, covering that of his mouth while leaving that of spiky black navy bluish hair, and also with that of a sword with the same sword still somewhat intact and its right hand and that of its right arm. However, the blade is all seems a lot more well well kept with that of a with that of golden embroidery into it as well. And the eye and that in the eyes of the figure as well, having that of a bright blue glow to it. With then soon, Izuku can help but be completely shocked with then soon. Kirika couldn't help but be completely surprised as well, saying, Izuku, he's, he's, within, the voice in her head, saying, ha ha ha, well, look at this, he's a Mirage Master just like you, Kirika, with, then saying, yeah, he is one, Tarja, with, then, Yensky saying, possibly, he could be even stronger than you, and you've been at this for almost a year now, if I recall, with, then, saying, Seriously? With then soon, the, the entity that almost attacked Izuku now looks at Izuku saying, Young man, you are the one that freed me from that of my enraged prison. For that, I must thank you. 
for su- for doing such. I am thou in your debt now. Please make use of me and allow me to aid you in your endeavor of putting an end to these savages as well. Within Izuk saying, "What? What the? What's going on?" Within soon Kirika making it to Izuku saying, "Midoriya, Kirika," and saying, "Oh, Miss Corino, what's going on?" And what? What are you? Within he begins to blush saying, "What are you wearing?" With then saying, Ugh, "I'll explain later. Right now." Within soon, the the entity right beside Izuku saying. We have more company coming, more of these knaves. Within soon, more dark, dark shadowy-like entities began to surround them. Within soon, Izuku saying, "What are we?" The former shadowy entity right beside Izuku saying, "We must fight as one." Hearing this from that the entity saying, "All right, but I, my my name is Krom. Allow allow me a mirage to aid you." Young Lord, with them saying, "Young Lord," with soon shaking his head, saying, uh, "Explain as later." What do we? What I had to do? With then Crom saying, "You must become se- synchronized with me. Become one with me. We must fight as one." See, when you hear say these words, as Crom gives that of the gives that of the information towards Izuku in his head. Within realizing, I get it, I get it now. Within soon, Kiriko is about to fight fight against that of the dark the dark shadowy entities coming straight for them. Before then, the same glowing glowing like object spear that was coming out of his chest, he brings it up before saying, "Let's do this, Crom. Go, Karnai's form." With then soon. Krom jumps up also up into the air before he engulfs into light, consuming that of Izuku. As then, Izuku's once casual clothes attire of that of a black shirt with the with white lettering saying shirt and kanji, blue jean shorts, and his signature red sneakers soon begin to disappear as his clothes switch to that of what you would see from that of a noble or a maestro or that of a maestro of a choir, orchestra choir with as it turns into that of a navy blue with that of shoulder shoulder guards embroidery his green hair having that of blue highlights in in it mixed in with the green and with that of blue blue markings on that of the right side of his cheek that go under his eye as then a rapier-like sword materialized in his in his right hand before then bringing it down to the side as the light dematerializes but then Kirika could up and say he carnize i can't believe it with then soon izuku pointing the sword at that of the shadowy entities as they begin to back up for a bit saying now then show bring it on I'll protect everybody no matter what. This I swear because I am here. With then as the confidence and pressure coming off Izuku is tenfold that almost seems as winds begin to coming off of him as this to be the birth of Japan's greatest superstar hero Izuku Midoriya and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Love to read them. So, how did you guys like this part? This is the first of the series I want to test out. Honestly, I'm probably going to make this a experimental series. To be honest, I don't have. I'm if I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have a lot of hopes that this is going to be a popular what if series on my channel. So I'll probably be putting that of goals on this. For this, what if if I want to continue it, continue going on with it? So, for example, if this video if this video gets up to that of well, a thou a thousand viewers in the next few months, alongside that of fifty likes, I'll probably continue it and go, and probably make the next part. But I'll also put another goal on that one as well. I would hate having to waste my time and you guys' time if you're not going to enjoy well continue watching them after all. So yeah, 
It's so this story is basically on a short lease. If it doesn't reach the goals for either part for this part, the next part and the part after that, I'm probably going to drop it either way. So yeah. So hey, no pressure, right? Right. Any rate, if you guys like this, please like, comment and subscribe. Hit that bell notification key to date my videos when I upload the channel. Also, please check out my Discord, gaming channel, other channel, side channel, Patreon, and Cash App. I'll link in the description below. So, with all that said, this is Leon Mookie, signing out. Later, guys, and hope you all take care. Do what you need to do, Shiro. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you like Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist. If you still haven't subscribed, do so in the center. With that said, I hope to see you again on my love's channel. Bye!